Thinking aloud. Conversations on the leading edge of knowledge and discovery with psychologist Jeffrey Mishlove. Well, I do remember attending a symposium in San Francisco back in the early 70s, sponsored by the Association for Humanistic Psychology, in which I think you probably arranged for Rolling Thunder to be a speaker, and it was a symposium on healing. Mm -hmm. And he was presented to the group as an example of a Native American healer. Yes, that would be legitimate, sure. Mm -hmm. Right. So he, he felt comfortable being called a healer, but not a shaman. That's correct, yes, mm -hmm. yes. How, how did he distinguish? Well, he didn't. He let other people do mm -hmm. that. He would sometimes say, some people call me a shaman, but I never call myself a shaman. Mm. So he acknowledged that, but he was very careful to draw the line, healer, yes, medicine man, yes. And he always would talk about how he doctored people. So he wasn't adverse to using the word doctor. Mm -hmm. He did doctor some people quite effectively. <clears throat> One of the, well, actually, the cover of our book, The Voice of Rolling Thunder, shows Rolling Thunder with an eagle. And there's quite a story behind that because a young man by the name of Carey was given three months to live, and in desperation he sought out Rolling Thunder and got permission to stay with Rolling Thunder and get the sweat lodges, the herbal medicines, etc. After six months he was alive, well, and healthy. Mm -hmm. And after eight months, it was time for him to move on. Mm -hmm. And he was with a friend. And on one of the last days that they were there, I should mention, Rolling Thunder never let him photograph him, even though his profession was a photographer. Oh, I see. He said, we're going to wait for the right time. On one of the last days he was there, Carrie's friend brought this injured eagle, this injured baby eagle who had some malfunction to its wing, maybe it had fallen out of the nest, but the poor thing couldn't fly. And so he said, put it, put it in a paper sack because it's squawking so loud, and in the dark, maybe it'll stop squawking, and it did. They took it to Rolling Thunder, and Rolling Thunder took the eagle out of the bag. The eagle stopped squawking, and Rolling Thunder patted the eagle and the eagle calmed down. He said to Carrie, now you can take your photograph. And that's the photograph on the book. Oh. Moments after he took the photograph, the eagle flew back to the nest. How priceless. Wing fine. Mm -hmm. The wing was fine. 